Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Matt with Green Bar Trading here. Some really nice momentum in that small cap market this morning. Seeing BNOX. So B-N-O-X was at the top of our pre-market movers list on very high volume. So 34 million shares have been traded so far. It's only 9.15 a.m. The market hasn't opened yet. Uh, Think or Swim has the float at about 8 million. So you have the top gainer, right? So heavy volume, you have a very low float. Anything under 20 million, uh, 10 million shares is just really great. You can see some nice moves and you have that catalyst with the news, all right? Binomics announces positive top line results from the phase two clinical trial. All right, in patients with post traumatic stress disorder. So, PTSD. This is what gave the market, uh, I'm sorry, what gave the stock that initial move. Now, once that initial move happens, that's all happening basically before a lot of day traders are up. All right, so it starts at 7 a.m. as usual. That's when most platforms open for pre market trade. So, you had from seven to eight, really beautiful move. I mean, from a dollar basically to almost eight. That's incredible, all right? So you had over a 600% move on a stock, 600%. I mean, there's just so much potential in something like that. So I'm gonna show you guys um, here, if we take a look on float checker, this is something that you're gonna wanna check for these small cap stocks to make sure that the float is accurate on thinkorswim. You come over here to float checker, Type in B-N-O-X, and you can see here, the only thing showing up is Yahoo Finance. All right, Yahoo Finance has the float at 7.55 million. Outstanding shares across the board are pretty accurate here with uh, Thinkorswim. So I feel confident that that float is very low. All right, so the low float is what we're looking for. And then, like I said, the volume is the next thing. You want all eyes to be on that stock that you're trading. And the news catalyst was very good, phase two. Anything phase two or higher will give you a nice catalyst uh, for that move. Now, taking a look here on a bigger time frame, I'm sorry, on a little bit of a bigger screen here. This is the one minute chart. You have a lot of nice moves. It seems to be following this trend line. So you know, making a series of higher highs, higher lows. It did make a lower high here, but stayed up on this trend line and then made a higher high. So where can we go from here? Can we test that 784? Maybe when the market opens, it's possible. The fact that this hasn't come down to VWAP yet um, is just showing how overextended this move is up over 500%. This is going to be a very heavily shorted stock when the market opens. All right. A lot of people are going to be like, all right, this is up way too much. Um, and looking for that move back down to VWAP, which is at 446 right now. And that should be where a lot of shares get covered. So that's BNOX. Taking a look on the five minute, I'm going to point out for you guys where the possible moves were. So after this initial move, right, it started to really get away from us here at about eight o'clock in the morning. Like I said, all before a lot of, you know, serious day traders are up. So once we saw this five minute candle and then we wait here for that next five minute candle setup, and that happened here at 825 to 830. OK, you had a move go from 476 to 625 here from this move. So what it waited for was the five minute candles to make a new high, to that first five minute candle, I'm sorry, to make a high. And that was this trade right in here. So you had about a 20 minute pullback, stabilized a little bit, and then pushed up right here. So that was a trade right there. And then you get another pullback, you get that consolidation, and then you get this nice five minutes set up right here. Okay. So once something is very extended and you start to see that pullback, 
wait for the five minute setup. The five minute chart is so important when trading the momentum stocks. So that's what we're seeing right here. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.